Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me, Small Engine Master One, and I got a little video for you guys today. Um, sorry I haven't been making videos lately. Um, been real busy with school. I have a test tomorrow, and I just decided to take a break and just quickly make this video for you guys. So this video will be another how-to video. It's gonna be how to clean your Tecumseh um cylinder head decarbonate. So, why don't we just go on and get on into this? Alrighty guys, so, just before we get started on decarbonizing the head, what you will need are some tools. Um, some of them are some gloves, um, just so you don't get your hands dirty. Uh, magnet tray for the screws so you don't lose them. Um, sockets. Uh, I don't know which size they are. You don't need all of them, but some. Um, a ratchet. A drill. Or if you don't have a drill... Um, you can use a wire brush, and for that drill, you will need a wire brush attachment. So, we can get started into this now. So, now what you need is about a 10 mil um, attachment. So, a 10 mil socket, I mean. So, let me get that. Actually, an 8 mil. So, let me adjust that. Turn it. And you will need to loosen this. Take it right off. Um... And this is why I'm using that magnet wheel, so the magnet tray, so I don't lose the screws. So I'm just going to place this right on. You don't really need a magnet tray, you just need something, a paw or something. Just to hold them. And being careful so I don't drop it on my lawnmower, because this is on a... On a makeshift stand just using two stools so I'll get this screw out and now what you need to do is remove your remove your gas tank um uh so the way to do this is I'm not gonna pause the video all you do is just pull up out of these clips get the first one get the second you can just place it down then you're gonna need to switch to a 10 mil reason for that is the two screws right here are 10 mil sorry for sorry if you guys can't see I'm just gonna pause the video and come back as soon as I take these out. So just before we are, uh, when you remove those two screws, just before we take the shroud off, the pull start, you just want to remove your air filter by just pulling that latch, pulling it off to the side, and then again, you have to be careful because sorry about that. Right here, that hose, well, part of the air filter is attached there. And all you have to do is just wiggle it around. So now once we got that, we can go ahead and remove the head. Once the shroud is removed um, and your top thing, we can take the head off. First thing you want to do, sorry that came off, is remove this wire for the spark plug. Put that off to the side so it's not in your way. Now we want to remove the spark plug so we don't damage it while cleaning the carbon off it. What you want to do is just get your... 13 16 spark plug remover in there and just turn it whoever put this on over tighten it then just remove it so this one's pretty dirty but I'm not cleaning that off next we need um it's about I think a 13 mil I'm just gonna approximately guess or it's a 14 maybe no, nope, that's too big. It's got to be 13. So, yeah, it's a 13. So, we can go ahead and remove that. Sorry about that. I went to put on an extension. So, I'm just going to remove the top and the bottom after. Okay, these aren't I have to retorque them and I'm just loosening them a little because I'm going to use a breaker uh, flex handle bar 
and just take them all the way out. So these aren't even on that good. Some of them are, some of them are really loose. So once that's done, I'm just gonna swap out and that machine. Sorry about that, I'm wasting a lot of time. And I'm just gonna remove them off like a screwdriver. Alrighty, so just let me loosen this last one out. And we can get started. So then what you wanna do, your head should come off freely. Um, so mine did. And holy, it is pretty loaded with carbon. Uh, yeah, that is carbon. I, yeah, that is. Um, so my head gasket's on there. And my piston, it looks quite decent. <laughs> Let me put it. It looks bad, but better than the rest. So that is the, to show you. The top valve is for my car, if you can identify it, pop valve, and there's my intake manifold, bottom valve, my muffler. So now what we have to do is, if you're using the wire brush, we have to attach it, so just put it in, tighten it, and that fucking, good thing I'm wearing gloves. Now all you want to do is go slowly with your drill, and clean all that carbon off, so I did a little and it's already dirty. So you can see we're bringing the carbon right off. So we're actually doing a good job of cleaning it. Just want to put it on a low speed and go ahead and clean. So there we go, we have a little bit off. I still have to go all the way down here. Sometimes I will increase the speed, but... So we did a good job so far. Now we just gotta finish off. Down here, it's gonna be a little harder, but I think I can get it. You might have to go in an angle. And just don't, watch how you don't damage your threads. By the way, a good tip would be to wear safety glasses because this, sh this stuff could get in your eye and it could blind you or just hurt your eye. So I'm doing a pretty good job getting all that carbon out. So this stuff that can't come out, I'm going to actually go find my wire brush and be right back. Alrighty guys, so I just tried with the wire brush and it's not going to work. So I'm just going to use the end, the sides of it and it should probably get in and clean the rest. So got to go almost on this side. Just put it in there real good. And make sure it's all the way down. You're going to need some power because it will kick out. So, got that good. Next side in. So, it's pretty good job so far. And, like, I can't get all this out. But, actually, maybe this won't come out. So yeah, that's in there good. It's all nicely cleaned out. Uh, I'm just gonna probably spray some degrease or something. Just gonna go over it where I did. Just gonna go over it on the desk. Then. So 
So now all I want to do is get a shop towel. And just clean that right off. The stuff that you can get, um, don't worry about it. Um, see, I got a pretty good looking cylinder head. Sorry about that. Now all I want to do is go ahead and finish it off. Spray a little bit of brake clean. Because some stuff you couldn't get out. And just dump that on the desk. And because there is dust that you did not get. I've seen dust on mine. And we are ready for um, installation. So I think I'm going to do this in a two-part series. Um, actually, I am. So that's pretty good, actually. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned. And there's going to be a part two coming up soon.